So what is the true craft of service design? A question that keeps coming back over and over and over again. And it's a really interesting question. Um, here's one take. If we take a look at services, services um, are delivered through organizations. Organizations are a uh, combination of relationships, processes, uh, systems. And for me, services now, it can be seen as the software that is running on the hardware of an organization. But there is something in between, and that's the operating system. And I think we as, as service designers often will need to investigate and understand that operating system that for me, it, it's the design material, the layer in between, between the actual service delivery and between the hardware of the organization, we need to understand that and we need to be able to shape and mold that. There is a great book called um, Designing Meetings or Meeting Design. Uh, it's over here. And that book talks about how we can design better meetings. Now, as silly as it might sound, I think this is a crucial part for us as service designers. Why? Because meetings are a key element of most organizations. They are like a cornerstone of the operating system. So if we want to bring more human centeredness to an organization, if we want to bring more visual thinking into an organization, if we want to bring more prototyping into an organization, embedding those elements in meetings is of course a great way to sort of infiltrate the existing system and change it from within. And I think this goes for a lot of things that we want to achieve, um, for the outcomes that we want to achieve, for the types of services that we want to create. Um, often it requires a change in the operating system of an organization. So what is the craft of service design? Well, understanding and redesigning the operating system of an organization is a crucial part for that, of that for me. Now, one of the questions you might ask is, are organizations even willing and can we even expect them to adopt something foreign as service design? Well, in this video, we talk about if we can even expect that organizations learn and adopt service design. So if you want to know the answer to that question, click over here and let's continue the conversation over there.